the mask that we're going to be using today is from Glam Glow. This is their glitter mask. This is their gravity firming treatment mask. And instead of like it being silver or what have you, it's actually really cool. I love the packaging too. It's glitter. So I'm really interested to try this one out. I absolutely love their metallic ones, like the silver and um, the Sonic the Hedgehog, the purple one. I don't want to spill it. Look how cool this looks. Ah! Oh my gosh. So it says to stir it. Let me go ahead and give it a little stir. It's really, really thick. So it says to apply a generous amount of this to your face. Oh my gosh, it's really cold. It feels... It's super cold. It's actually pretty refreshing. I kind of felt like I was woken up really quick. <laughs> now it makes sense for it to be um, on the cool side because it is really, really cooling. This also helps with inflammation and um, it just makes sense that it would make your skin tight and it says to avoid your hairline and your eyebrows. I can totally feel the scratchiness of the thick glitter. So I could have honestly done without so much of the stars. But I mean, it's really pretty. So I get it. It's really, really pretty. Some more on my forehead. I absolutely love... love. I love Glam Glow. It smells like tropical, like coconuts. It smells almost like a pina colada. Ah, it says to avoid your eyebrows. I'm like, no, I don't want it to take my eyebrows. Like, you need to listen. If they're telling you not to do something, don't do it. I love that they come with these little brushes and this one in particular is actually like a clear handle, which I am totally obsessed with. That's so cute. So hopefully I'm able to wash this off. Let me try it. It's just like all their other masks, super easy. And I do recommend washing it as soon as you're done applying the mask. It just, it's a lot easier to wash. And I just love them. The quality of the brushes are really, really nice as well. Um, you get a lot of product in that tub. So I feel like you can definitely splurge if you're gonna have a girl's night in. Um, and that's like a nice little treat. All the girls that I've ever gifted Glam Glow to, they absolutely loved it. It's Something that I personally have seen in the plastic surgeon's office when I was there, calm down, I was there to get Latisse for my eyelashes because I seriously have an eyelash problem. <laughs> I ain't got no eyelashes, I feel like a frog. So I was like, ooh, what's that? Um, but yeah, I think it's like so cool. I have a love and hate for glitter. I hate glitter because it's hard to clean up and I feel like it lingers. And then you end up kissing your boyfriend and the next day it's still hanging on for dear life on his face and then you're threatening his life because you don't know where that glitter came from. But now I wanna hurry up and I feel like I'm also coloring my hair at the same time because they both have the same um, time process. So I'm able to put on a mask and really just pamper myself. It actually feels um, pretty good on my face. It's not bothering me at all. So I'm gonna give it about 20 minutes. Okay, my face is completely my 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 So my face is now completely tight. It's dry. Um, some places wanted to give me a little bit of trouble, and that's probably because I applied it way too thick. I said. It says apply a generous amount, not a big old glob in certain areas. You have to make sure that you do um, evenly, you know, disperse this all over your face, just not so, so heavy, especially in this area here. I just felt like it took forever for it to dry. Um, but now I'm ready to peel this bad boy off and reveal my face. catching a little bit of my hairs. You want to do this carefully. You don't want to just rip it off your face. That way you don't hurt yourself. Especially if you have sensitive skin and trying this mask for the first time. I am actually a very fuzzy individual and it does not hurt to peel it off. So that's always nice. And it's coming off in one like nice little piece. Wah, Clarice. So this is how my skin looks after removing the mask. I did not apply any toner, 
um, any moisturizer, any skin oils, nothing like that. This is just all a really nice healthy glow from the actual mask. So I'm really happy with the way that my skin looks right now. It actually feels pretty tight, um, almost as if I'm still wearing the mask. So um, the tight level is on max right now. Super, super nice. Um, my skin smells really good too because the product smells like I had mentioned earlier, like a pina colada, something really fruity and tropical. Um, there wasn't really any shimmer left over, as you guys can see as I move my head about. You can't see any of the glitter still hanging out, which I, I was really, I was really apprehensive about the glitter. As far as the tightening goes, it feels like I'm still wearing the mask. So pretty tight. I'm really happy about that. I am trying to hold off on doing any kind of injectables or any kind of procedures, what have you, on my face as long as possible because, um, first of all, it's an expensive habit to get addicted to. And second of all, I'm just trying to um, age gracefully and then also accept the changes in my face. N my number one takeaway as far as um, doing any kind of beauty masks or a hair masks or even painting my nails that's a hundred percent self-care and I love these kinds of things because you spend um, you know a little moment with yourself and kind of just being so grateful that you're able to use your hands to apply the mask or um, just even seeing the glitter being able to see with your eyes like like I don't know just having a moment of gratitude so if we can just take a break and focus on the little things I feel like our days will be so much brighter so Hopefully you guys um, will think about that the next time you give yourself some self-care. And um, yeah, leave me your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you guys have any other products you would like me to test out, let me know there too. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up and also subscribe if you have not already joined my family. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!